Oh, hey. Hello. Welcome to our um, Lake Brunner campsite. We're doing a very quick walkthrough of our camper van that's for sale. It's on Trade Me, uh, but this just gives you a bit of a quick rundown as to what it is. Um, it's a 2007 Nissan Caravan. It's done 142,000 kilometres. The, the, the true deets are on Trade Me. Um, Comes with all its registration, warrant fitness, uh, 4,000 RUCs, all that stuff. Uh, but just give you a very quick walk around to show you what it's like. Um, if we just back out a little bit, Lily, you can see uh, Sunseeker awning out the front here of the um, of the roller area. So that's pretty new actually, and it's, um, it's uh, you know, no mould or anything like that, so pretty nice. Uh, and then we come a bit closer, and we'll show you really briefly inside. Okay, so inside the van, um, we've got it in the bed mode. Uh, it's quite cool in that these, these seats here, you can actually fold them back up and put three people in there. So by the time you've got the people in the front, there's three seats in there, plus three here, you can actually take six people. So that's quite cool. Um, in the bed mode, massive big double bed, uh, really comfortable. Um, uh, we've got up here a little um, remote switch for the inverter. There's a thousand watt inverter down under the seats here. I'll just point to where that is because you can't see it at the moment but underneath in this area just down here is where all the electrical system is. So we've got the inverter, got some power points that are just down, uh, two plugs down there and we use a little extension cord with a four plug thing so you can take it all out. So plenty of headroom sitting in here, you've got some um, push button lights here, you've got the normal lights of the van um, but uh, I wouldn't use those overnight just because it drains the battery. These ones are on batteries and um, there's provision for a lighting circuit off the off the main battery, which is down under there. 150 watt solar panel up on the roof, but uh, yeah, plenty of room, and then it moves backwards into the um, kitchen area, and all of the windows have got curtains, uh, which are really cool. And um, there's also an, a, a big um, mat thing that goes here to block this out, and there's also things for the main windscreen. Alrighty, so here in the back, uh, there's a little kitchen area. So uh, it's really cool. So sink over here with a um, pull pump. It's got a um, self-containment uh, cert for it. So the water that drains through here drains through into a 40 litre holding tank, which goes down sort of into that little compartment down there. And then down under the ground, uh, under, the, under the van, is a uh, connection to the wastewater. So you can just vent that out, uh, let that out when you go. On this side, there is your uh, toilet. Which is, which is pretty cool. So the whole idea is that you can use it while it's in the van, that's part of the self-containment. Uh, we haven't used it uh, as such in this mode, but we can pull it out and use it elsewhere. Also the gas and rubbish bags and bits and pieces are all down in there. Supplementary license plate too for carrying bikes on the tow bar, which is quite cool. Good to have a tow bar. Um, on this side is your, is your sort of kitchen area. This is really cool. Down in here, you've got all your plates and cutlery. We keep all our pots and bowls and everything up in there as well. So that's quite cool. You can see all your bits and pieces there, and there's another, another one down in there. Drawers and so forth. And down under my feet, all the way down in there, that big cabin space that could lend itself to a drawer system or lots. Of, we just put containers and stuff down in there, but it's heaps of room down in there for drawers and so forth. A Twenty liter water jug in there, and uh, then down here is the little cooking area this little can this little thing here all folds up and attaches into that zone there and the gas bottles tucked into there so that's quite nice and uh, self-contained in there and then at the back we've got this full mozzie setup which is really cool you can imagine this all goes all around and there's one comes from that side and there's also the same mozzie set up on the sliding door as well so that you can sit inside there and have no sand flies. We're at Lake Runner and there's heaps of sand flies and it works really well. Okay, so the little electrical system, little 12 volt system under the under the back left seat. Um, in here there's a battery um, and that's connected to a little charge controller. I've got a slightly different thing that's going to happen here, but charge controller, battery, there's a... 1000 watt inverter down there with a fuse and that runs through to a power point down into there. 150 watt solar panel up on the roof that just runs through the, the wires there. Provision in there to add lots more of accessories and so forth. There'll be a, there's a little fuse box so you could add lights and the water pump and all those things. But really simple but it works really really well. And we, we um, plug our Wi-Fi in, you can see here. We just got a portable Wi-Fi, plug that in and we can do movies on the go.